Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. Now today's episode is special to all of us here at In-Depth Outdoors because it is the final episode of our 15th year of broadcast here on Valley Sports. Now, we wanted to go out with a bang, as I'm sure you can uh, appreciate, so we were looking for a special bite, one where we could put some huge fish in the boat, enjoy some great scenery, and spend some time in the boat with a phenomenal fishing partner. I think we accomplished all three of those criteria with today's show. We headed out to Fort Peck in Montana. The target is big walleyes, and we get to fish with Scott Collinsworth, one of those guys that you cannot spend a minute of time in the boat without a huge smile on your face because this guy is a ton of fun to fish with. Uh, on today's show, multiple fish over 30 inches come over the gunnels, many fish over 28 inches. And I, if I do say so myself, we end the 15th season of broadcast here at In-Depth Outdoors in grand style. So stick around, I think you're gonna really enjoy today's show. Well, when you say fishing points, there's only like nine million of them, so. Yeah, yeah, there's only a couple to check out. <laughs> Mission today is Fort Peck Giant, bud. One of Scott's friends caught a 13 and a half pound post-spawn walleye last week. 34, what'd you say, a 34 and an eight? Yes. Freaky big. That's what this place is all about. A giant, beyond what's possible in the Midwest. The number of 32 plus inch fish that get caught here is just mind blowing. There's one. Not a is big one. Not a big one? I would not describe him as a giant, but. Are we going to need a net on that one, James? Nope. I'm just going to lift him and we'll be just fine. Perfect. Great way to start the morning. Yep. Yeah, if I put a net under this one. <laughs> Buddy smoked it. Boy, he woofed it, didn't he? Yes, he did. Nice. That's that Largo Shad. Kind of getting more experience with it on open water. We have always used that bait here on Peck, the bigger version, for the right. Lakers. Yes. But uh, should we keep some fish today? I think we should keep a few to eat. Well, they're your fish, so if you say it's okay, <laughs> in it goes. We always, we gotta have a nice walleye dinner. Oh, there's a good one. A little better? That's a little better fish. Just hit bottom and smoked it. Well, you let me know if you need net on that. Thing. I think we might need a net on this one. If this is the right fish, which it feels like it is. And by that you mean not a pike? Yes. It's gonna be hard for me to get to you. You want me to bring it back to you? Yes, please. What we got? Show me the whites of his eyes. That was a nice head shake. Yes. Come on, girl, come up and see us. That's a good one. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Woo. Yes. It is a stud. That's a great fish. That shad is gone. Oh. Man, that two inch Largo shad has just been great. Come on, girl. She's all fenced up. Oh. Got her. Boy, you might need a pliers to retrieve that thing. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. Oh, man. Long, mean. Great fish. Look at that, she just inhaled that Largo Shad. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take the pliers. I don't blame you. Look All at that right. thing. Just woofed it, awesome. All right, girl, thank you so much. We'll put her back to do her thing. It's gotta be, what, a 29? I bet, way Close up to 30. 20s. Nice fish. All right, girl, 
There we go. All right, there she goes. That was an awesome fish, bud. <laughs> Rain, boat spray, wind, and if you're unlucky enough, even snow. When your drive to work is a highway of water, you need outerwear that you can count on day after day, week after week, year after year. The Rapala Rain Pro and the Rapala Rain Jacket and bibs are exceptionally crafted using premium materials and fitted for comfort. With the right gear, you can weather the storm. Backed by a legendary name you can trust. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. They say a man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. Having a hard time finding the gear you need to get your boat ready for spring? At Reed Sports, we have a huge inventory of Hummingbird, Garmin, and Lowrance Electronics, including the Garmin LiveScope all-season bundle with a $200 rebate. We have the largest inventory in the Midwest, but act now. It won't last long. Give us a call at 800-346-0019 or find everything for your boat at reedsports.com, where we offer the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. There's one. Ooh, that looks like a nice fish game. Yeah, it's, it's heavier for sure. Well, I'll be all set up and ready for us if we need it. It's a solid fish. It's just one, yeah, one of those low 20s. Yeah. That might have uh, some eggs in it yet, maybe, eh? Kind of looks that way. Nice. Heck yeah. So I've mixed things up on you a little bit. I went to a quarter just Ooh. because the fish were getting so, so grumpy. And I went to one of those new Largo Minnow patterns. This is called live minnow. And you tell me if this thing doesn't look like a live minnow. There we go. Get her? Oh, look at that thing. That is incredible. Yeah, that looks like a live minnow. That is awesome. And that is, I believe, that's a female. It is? Yep. yep. Yeah, I would say she's a female for sure. Like I said, there may be even some eggs still in there. Yep. Late, yep. For, late for the party. Oh. All right. Super nice fish. Fire it back. Real good hit. <laughs> that's awesome. But that's what I'm talking about there. I was thinking that for more middle of the day here, real bright light, I think maybe that white might get too dark. Sure, so, sure. One fish is not a pattern. No, but that's a very good start. Yes. Oh, that's there's a nice a good fish. fish. Yeah, that's a really nice fish, I think. Grab the net. Nice head shape. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Coming your way, sir. All right, we'll take her. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Nice. That's a nice fish. Look well, right where we like nowhere. her. Yeah. No. I wonder if that's the one you marked, bud. Might have been. That's, you know, we've just kind of been cruising around and, and you know, we haven't really been fishing unless we're marking those fish on side scan. It's been key for us. Go back to your home, girl. Yeah, we were just about to leave. You See were you, pulling away, mark that fish. Turn around, hit anchor lock, and bang. Right on it. That's awesome. It's so definitely the hummingbird side scan has been key for us. And this is like an environment that's made for side imagery. It you is. Know, it, there's not a lot of big rocks. Those fish just jump right out at you. They do. Side imaging with these sandy, gravelly bottoms. Ooh. Oh my, that thing crushed it. That looks like a big fish. This is legit. That fish just punished that bait. I went back to the, uh, the plastic, the, the jig and the uh, shad. Awesome. Boy, it looks like a good fish. 
that is exactly what you know as a walleye fisherman that right there is honey <laughs> yes. candy yes it is just that it. is a big fish i think you've got a fort peck monster if it's a walleye this is a beast it is a beast i think uh it's sure acting like the right fish i don't even care if it's a pike it's gonna be a big one <laughs> yes it is Oh, that looks a little pikey. That looks a little pikey. I would agree with that. See, so, you know, that there looked walleye-ish. It did? Look at that thing. Holy <laughs> animal! <laughs> Woo! That is what we're here for. <laughs> Good fish. <laughs> nice. Look at that Wow! Thing. That's what Fort Peck is all about oh. right there. Holy smoke! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the girth on that fish. I am impressed i don't think that fish has done spawning completely no. yet that thing just annihilated wow. that bait where is that largo shed you get credit bud because <laughs> you you spotted that fish on side imaging you said there was two big ones we rolled right back around look at this oh way down in there come on out boom that thing is look huge at that. she's got some spawn left in her yeah we're gonna, I'm gonna get that quick i tell you what they're fishing Santa. <laughs> that thing is amazing. How's that for a present? You gotta oh. love that. Look at the girth on her. The hit. I'm not gonna forget that for a oh. long time. Oh, it gave me everything she had. Oh. Not everything. <laughs> she gave you a nice tail wag on the way out of here. That was good job, man. Oh. Awesome oh. fish. The hit. I'll never forget it. That fish, a good still frame pulled from the video. Yep. I'll be able to remember that for a long That's time. That's awesome. Now. Got that one on, that three inch white Largo shad. That's taken all of our big fish. It has. Biggest fish. Yes. I mean, we've, you've had a 24 on a minnow. Yeah. But, but that right there, it must do a pretty good job of, you know, standing out, giving the water clarity and then looking like a Cisco. I mean, that fish just beat it to death yeah. like it owed it money. It was <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
It's that has been, been so solid for us. Yeah. I've had very few fishing experiences like this on walleyes with jigs in my life. This is something pretty, pretty crazy pretty special, special, isn't it? We are, we are on a wagon train of giants here right now. Oh, look at that. They're huge. I've fished all over the place. If you want to come catch giants on jigging plastic, this is the place, this is the time of year. I don't know that I've ever caught more fish using this presentation. And that is another upper 20 inch giant Fort Peck walleye. All right, I'm gonna throw that one back because there's more. This is, we're just getting rolling here. <laughs> what a fish. Big old prehistoric mama, giant head. Heck yeah. Bye-bye. No worse for the wear at all. I'm gonna walk everybody through how we're fishing these baits because we've kind of figured out that there's a very specific rhythm that these fish are looking for. So long cast, tight to the bank, the banks drop off really fast, so you want to make sure that you're getting that jig straight down versus pulling it off the, the bank and keep the rod tip really high. Because what you're trying to do is get that bait to hop up off the bottom. Rod tip high, reel hand on the reel, and it's like this, just a flip of the rod tip. Take up the slack, get that bait coming up off the bottom. The water clarity is, you know, it's stained, so this isn't the kind of deal where you could do huge rips because those fish are gonna lose the, the bait in the water column. Keep it near the bottom, get it to hop up six, eight inches at a time, get a nice smooth rhythm to it. And that seems to work the best. If you drop your rod tip and you get it really low, you're not gonna be able to get that lift off the bottom. And we're just not catching fish doing that. So if you get a chance to come out here to Fort Peck, it's not hard, it's very simple. But just like all big walleyes, there's always little nuances. They want it in a very particular manner. Ooh, daddy! Looks like a pretty decent one. Not a bad fish, I don't think. I just don't think it's the right flavor, though. You don't? Unfortunately, I think it's, well, You went with that bigger live minnow, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. It might be the right flavor. Well, if it is, it's a good one, right? Oh, daddy -o. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yes. This is just ridiculous, Scott. <laughs> look at that thing. Gulp. What a fish. That's beautiful, ain't it? Heck yeah, it is. The sun came out. Look at that. Enjoy it while you can, it won't last long. No, it won't. <laughs> and you wanna see the best part? Look at that thing, just You're whooped gonna, it. Where did we put that players? <laughs> oh. I think it's on the dash somewhere. All right, so we've been doing really good on the three inch Largo Shad. Um, I decided to upsize to this four inch and give it a try and it was like the fourth class and she just absolutely smoked that bait. Another upper 20s, bud. Yes, just a beautiful fish. There she goes. Your right. uh, Thanks, post spawn fish here are about as fat as most people's pre spots. <laughs> they are, aren't they? They're just beautiful fish. Fish. Come on, you. Little better? A little better, a little better. You want a net on this one? Um, you know what? I think we might need a scoop, but I got the scoop right here. I can sneak back there maybe. This one was on the, the drop back. It's got some weight to it. Yeah, it looks like a good fish. Pop There's... up here, there it is. Ooh, look at that big thing. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty! Good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Come here. That is a long fish, bud. Boom. Like how about, it. How about we like apples it. right there? <laughs> that thing is a stud. Oh. What a head on that thing. Hoofta. I was just crawling it. When she popped it, boy, there was no doubt about it. 
Just I mean, inhaled it. 29 inch fish, isn't it? Oh yeah. Beautiful <laughs> fish. There we go. There she goes. Goodbye. Sweet. That was awesome. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Glacial Lake Stock is now Glacial Lakes Recreation. Located in Starbuck, Minnesota, we offer the same great location, staff, and service with a new name to better fit our ever-expanding business. As an authorized dealer and service center for Yeti and now Alumalite Ice Houses, we have you covered if you're looking for a new house or just need a little service. Stop in today or check us out online at glaciallakesrec.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. good fish there you go i don't think good it's one. real big okay. but you want the net another one on the uh, live minnow yep another one on the live minnow it's better than a sharp poke in the eye oh it might be i'm here for you i think it's a giant but Getting more serious. Yes, isn't it? it is. Come on, come on. <laughs> She's not done yet. Boy, she just choked that thing. Yeah, there's, that. there's a no doubter right there, friend. <laughs> Where's that jig at? Her belly button. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Nice fish. Look at how deep that thing is. Just woofed it. Convinced. Man, thank you. Nice, probably 23 inch fish. 22. Chunker. Nice. Super thick. And still full of it. Oh, no. See you later. There's fish. He come back and smoked it, didn't he? I don't that know is a big fish. This feels like the right stuff here, bud. This is a walleye. It is a good one. Oof. Spanked it. Yep. I'm just going to anchor us right here. Sounds good. Yeah, let's go full drift. Yeah. That fish hit twice. That's awesome. First time it tried to pin it to the bottom. All right, this one feels walleye-ish. I like it when you say that. If it is, it's a it's a good one. Uh, now it's starting to surge a little bit. Come on, big mama. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Today is like my birthday, I'm telling you. It's just crazy. <laughs> that nice. fish hit twice. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, James. Oh. There is that shad body. Look at that, barely hooked. Oh. I mean, I've never, I'm trying to remember the last time I caught this many just studs. Yes. Jigging in a day. And that thing is robust. <laughs> just the tiniest little scrap. Play that one wrong. Boop, yep, gone. Gone. Great fish. 
I would have loved to have seen her two weeks ago, but oh, I'm boy. still a really big fan. <laughs> Back she goes. Oh. How cool is that? <laughs> My brother. Good fish, man. That's, That's some awesome. good stuff. So that brings us to the end of today's show and the end of our 15th season of broadcast here at In Depth Outdoors. Before I go, I want to say a special thanks to Scott Collinsworth. We've been trying to connect for years now to get out and experience this spring walleye bite. And let me tell you, we could not have timed things any better. Uh, the size of the fish is amazing. The scenery is spectacular. If you want to experience it yourself, make sure you look up Scott Collinsworth. He's the owner of the Fort Peck Marina. Look him up on Facebook or online, and I'm sure he'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Now, before we go, there's just a long list of people that I want to thank for helping make season 15 such an incredible success. Uh, PJ Vick, uh, Justin Sofa, Marcus Quam, Connor Kleist, Dave Kuntz, just to name a few. If I forgot somebody, please, you understand how it is. Uh, take no offense. I appreciate greatly everyone that's contributed to making this show such an incredible success. Behind the camera, Jacob Halls could not have done this without his steadfast dedication to shooting the best fishing show on TV. Pat McSherry, my co-host, uh, anytime I needed to break, he was always right there uh, to take my place. And of course, he edits every one of these shows. Could not do any of this without the help of those two great individuals and our sponsors. What can I say? We've been around for 15 years, hoping for a 16th next year, and we've always enjoyed the support of some of the finest sponsors in the fishing industry. And last but not least, in any way, shape, or form, the people that take the time each week to watch this show. I cannot overstate how much I appreciate the opportunity to be here in front of the camera, to get out there on the water and chase the biggest fish and the hottest bites, and enjoy the greatest fan base any TV show should have the privilege of enjoying. So uh, from all of us here at In-Depth Outdoors, thanks for tuning in to this week's show. Thanks for making season 15 such a success, and we'll see you next fall for the start of season 16. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.